Hello Libra and welcome to your reading. Libra, we are going to get our subject matter from the divine. The divine is going to let us know what this reading is all about. Divine, what is this reading for Libra all about? What is this subject matter for Libra? Okay, so Libra, we have your card and this timeless reading for you is all about temptation. Okay, so Libra, let's get the divine to clarify what you, why you got the temptation card. Divine, what is the message about temptation for Libra? What is the message about temptation for Libra? Can you elaborate temptation for us, please? Can you elaborate and tell us what the temptation card is all about? Okay. So let's have a look to see what is here for you. So we have our cards. Okay, Libra. Let's get one more card to see what divine just give me one more card for this reading please just one more card all right okay we have our card so that is your final card and the final card that you have is a major kind of card so that's important to know so as usual libra we always get the divine to close off the reading for us so divine what is the last message that libra needs to take away from this reading what is the closing message for libra what do you want libra to know all right so we have your card over there so temptation huh what is tempting you libra what is tempting you well first of all you are opening up this reading with the five of cups tempting you into some arguments that don't really lead to nowhere. These arguments could be arguments that have been going on for a long time and they're not getting any easier. In fact, they are robbing you of a sense of feeling like you can go and start afresh. So there is this energy where perhaps these arguments are leaving you feeling depleted. These arguments are leaving you feeling like I need to go back and say something else because we have the five of cups and the five of cups. You are looking at a situation and crying off a spelt milk. You are looking at an argument at a disagreement and feeling like I should have said this. That would have really hurt them. And the divine is saying that whatever has happened, it is time to leave that situation behind. So let's put it into, into context for understanding your situation could be different, but I'm just painting a picture so you understand what I'm talking about a little bit better. So let's say it's a situation at work. Your company says to you that, hey, we need to make some cuts because we're not making as much profits as we had before. And it made sense that last in, first out, right? But for some reason, things got changed around to suit the people that you worked with's narrative. And maybe you found that you were chosen to leave. But that didn't make sense because you were not the last one in. So you were like, no, this is not fair. You're crying of a spelt milk because you felt you feel unjustly dismissed. There is a sense of injustice that you feel in your heart at the moment. And so maybe you're going back to your company, you're arguing, you're disagreeing with them, you're whatever is going on. But the divine is saying that, hey, look, whatever has happened, is going to actually turn out into your favor because once you finish crying over what was and turn around you are going to see that there is new opportunities there is new offers that are coming in and if you had stayed in this situation this situation would have robbed you from new beginnings from new offers so the divine is saying that all is not lost turn around and as soon as you do you're going to gain a new perspective. You're going to gain a new understanding of why this situation happened. There is a way out because you can see that here, maybe you're wanting to cross this river to go and go to that castle over there. And you're like, well, I can't swim. I can't do this. I can't. Da -da 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 -da. And the divine is saying, 
stop looking in that direction. Turn around, see the opportunities that are here. Turn around, see that there's a bridge that you can go and walk over that is going to let you go to the other side like you wanted to. So the divine is asking you to have that energy of having a, a greater perspective about your situation because right now you are just focused on what was instead of focusing on what is. And what is, is that there are opportunities for you. There's a way out for you. So it's time to turn around. Because this situation, right now as it stands, it is causing you a lot of pain. It is causing you a lot of nightmares, headaches. It is driving you insane. Replaying over and over and over again what happened here. When in fact, you could be going and turning that new chapter. So there is this energy of having insomnia, not being able to sleep. This energy where your mind is just going round and round and round in circles. And because your mind is spinning out of control, it's robbing you of that rest, of that good night's sleep, so that you can wake up having a clearer mind, having a new, new eyes to look at this situation. So the divine is saying that it is time to let this situation go because this situation is robbing you, not only of your sleep, is robbing you of your joy and causing unnecessary pain when there is better things that are out there for you. So as soon as you turn around, as soon as you start looking around, you're going to see that the divine is literally gifting you ways of making more money. There is that new beginning, a new path unfolds for you. Remember our card was saying that you are focused on what was and you're, it's causing you a lot of pain, a lot of heartache. And here now we're seeing that the divine is gifting you, literally a hand from the heavens is coming and gifting you a potential of making money because the aces are the potential, they're the seeds. And then it is up to you to walk this path and go and accept this gift, this seed is that has been gifted to you. So as you turn around, as you see that, oh, I've still got two full cups over here, you collect these blessings that are still here for you you go and cross over the bridge and then you go and see like oh there's a new opportunity here you go and maybe you apply whatever it is that you're doing there is a potential that is coming in and it's a good potential so the divine is asking you to stay away from the temptation of getting comfortable with crying over what was because after a while we start getting comfortable with replaying this situation over and over and over and over again. Let that ghost of the past evaporate. Let that ghost of what was, let it go. If this is a relationship that you're in and that relationship ended for whatever reason, maybe this person is literally ghosting you and you're looking over the messages that you sent each other, you're trying to investigate and find out exactly what went wrong instead of just saying, I'm turning around and I'm carrying on with my life. I don't appreciate people ghosting me because that shows that you have no respect for me. That shows that I am not that important to you. So people ghost you for a while. And then as you start feeling like, all right, I've healed. I'm ready to turn around and to start walking my new path. Suddenly, bing, that ghost is back in your life. And you're tempted to go back into the past. But guess what? If you do, this situation is going to keep replaying itself over and over again until you realize that this temptation is here to teach you a lesson. Is here to teach you a lesson that it is time to stop crying over what was and seeing what is and go and create from here, not from that disappointment. Because that disappointment feels like it's a heavy burden for you to carry. It feels like... Whatever has happened here is really causing you a lot of work in your soul, in your heart. Because we have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Wands is a heavy burden. The Ten of Wands is here. Your guides, your ancestors are saying, put this heavy burden down. Turn around and see that there is something so much better for you out there. Why are you caring so much of this happiness in your heart and in your soul? Let was... Let it go. Put it down. You are still carrying this situation in your heart. Why? The people that have left the situations are not even thinking about you. 
and yet you are here crying over spilt milk over what was it is time to turn around and start going on your new path and as you start turning around and going on your new path leave this heaviness this disappointment that is in your heart leave it behind it does not belong in your future so like our last card i was in two minds about getting another card but i'm glad that i did pick up another card because literally this major arcana card is driving this message home once and for all your heart should feel as light as a feather but right now it doesn't it is as heavy as lead so you are here using wisdom looking at all the different situations that are causing you the, this disappointment that you're feeling looking at the people whatever has happened whatever has made you feel the five of cups all up in your feelings whatever has happened there it is time to put your big girl pants on your big boy pants on your big pants on and looking at this situation and assessing this situation for what it truly is look at the facts not what you want this situation to be but look at the facts and the facts only remove feeling because feeling is what is holding you back and as you start releasing your heart is going to get lighter and lighter and lighter and then being in this energy of a judgment card is a wonderful energy because it allows you to release to surrender situations people whatever that is going on so that you can bring in the energy of balance around your feelings so let's have a look at your last card and see what the last card that you have is so the last card that you have is the council of light so the council of light is the divine orchestration helpers from the above realm so here the council of light your guardian angels remember i mentioned that here your guardian angel is asking you why are you still carrying this burden your guardian angel is here asking what is going on and as soon as you are ready to put this burden down as you soon as you're ready to turn around and to see that all is not lost as soon as you bring in this energy of judgment to release to surrender to let go of everything that doesn't uh, that doesn't serve you your council of light your guardian angels will start orchestrating events to help you so that you can have an is an easier transition the council of light will start shining a light for you to follow so that the new path can be a lot easier for you to navigate so call on your ancestors call on your guardian angels the divine to orchestrate these events that are going to help you have an easier transition out of the current situation that you are bound to so this is the reading that i have for you don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment subscribe hit the notification bell on that note i'm going to see you soon it's a goodbye